Ladies and gentlemen, are you wasting your money on a game you love? Have you spent hundreds or even thousands of hours gaming just to get error coded? Is your faith in Bungie slowly declining? Or has it already hit rock bottom? Well, this is the case for a lot of people right now in the Destiny community. Oh, I forgot one. How about, are you trying to get online after maintenance just for the game to tell you, um, nope, not today. We have been dealing with network issue after network issue after network issue when it comes to Destiny 2, and there is still not a fix a day later after maintenance was done. I woke up this morning, tried to hop on Destiny 2 since I don't work today, and everything was good for the first five minutes. I tried to start an LFG for Deepstone Crypt, and then BAM! I start getting hit with the, quote, contacting Destiny 2 servers, end quote. Well, we all know what follows after that, right? Error codes, baby. Error codes. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was once a game called Anthem. Do you remember it? No? Not many people do. Anthem had the same issues and now nobody plays it. Let alone talks about it. Anthem was supposed to be a destiny killer. And when it started, it had so much promise, so much drive, so much stability. Then on the second week of Anthem, they actually had a maintenance update and everything went to shit. And it never recovered. It may have gotten a little better, but not a full recovery. Oh, I forgot. The sad part is, Destiny 2 is slowly going downhill because of the staff redirection, layoffs, and the important people leaving the company, etc. For those who don't know, Bungie has an upcoming PvP focused game that is still untitled to the public, and a lot of the company's staff that was working on Destiny 2 is now working on that game. My issue is that Sony bought Bungie for $3.6 billion last year in July, 2022. So why hasn't that money been used to expand the team or to get more servers? I don't know, something to help out the issues that we are currently facing in Destiny 2 and have been facing for a while now. However, getting back to the error codes, the current gameplay you're watching is prior to the error code issue. And it seems like these error codes are happening more and more after each maintenance since Lightfall was actually released. It's like for every one thing that Bungie fixes, three more things go wrong. For those who don't know, the main error codes that are being given out are winner winner chicken dinner, you sexy little round plum, and you dirty little weasel. I keep getting weasel. Bungie Help has even tweeted out about the known error codes, but no update on it. And that my friends was about 12 hours ago as of writing this script. And I can tell you that as a Destiny 1 beta player, this is ridiculous. And it's becoming very tiresome for a lot of people, especially those on console. Not saying that the error codes aren't happening to those on PC, but consoles seem to be affected with this issue more over the past 24 hours than PC players. We know this because there are numerous top Destiny 2 Twitch streamers that have been playing all day yesterday while these issues were actually going on and they are known to be playing on PC. And when the issue had started after maintenance, they never got the contacting Destiny 2 servers message once or even got error coded. I don't know if stability is the case on Bungie's end, but if PC is going to be allowed to play and console isn't, I might just make the switch to PC in order to play the game that I've been enjoying for years. Minus the issues that it's had up until now. But that decision is kind of still up in the air at the moment because I need to take into account what I'm losing versus all of my games for making a switch from playing Destiny 2 on my PlayStation 5 to a PC.
But I do plan on doing another video, especially on that topic, and maybe you guys could actually help me make the best decision. Hopefully Bungie gets working on the issue with these error codes and soon before they start losing their player base. One thing for sure is that no company has yet to come close to compete with Destiny 2, which is why the player base will always still be there until a company actually does make a Destiny killer. Then, and only then, will Bungie actually start taking these error codes more serious in order to keep their player base from leaving and going to a different game. Many games have tried to be Destiny killers in the past. Warframe, Anthem, Outriders, The Division, The Division 2, and Borderlands 3, just to name a few, but none of them have survived to the extent as Destiny 2. I think Warframe is still around, but I heard that it's become a pay to win, and Borderlands 3 was a hype, and then a month later, the hype died. Personally, I feel that Bundy needs to get this shit together and fix all of the issues that need to be fixed, starting with being able to play the game on all platforms without any more issues arising. The Tiger engine that Bungie is using for Destiny 2 is great, but it is getting older and becoming short-lived, and they might want to actually look at something like an Unreal Engine for future games. Now, it's not a Destiny 2 killer, and I don't know about you guys, but Star Wars Jedi Survivor is releasing in three days. So, I'm just sitting here waiting patiently. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Bungie's current situation with the constant maintenance the error codes, and broken parts of the game that continue to be an issue that causes downtime in the comment section below. Also, if you guys have any ideas on what could possibly fix these issues, let us know down in the comments as well. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.